All right, outdoorsness. This is the uh, the van I'm planning to take on this trip out west. So I've mentioned it on the channel many times, but if you forgot or you don't normally watch it, uh, we're taking all the time I earn in a year off, just that one month, and we're basically just gonna go travel around the country. Um, I've got a kind of a route sort of made out, but um, we're gonna be using this van here to like uh, camp, basically. But anyway, this is roughly what we're gonna be dealing with. Um, obviously, I'm gonna move these pallets out of here. And that thing got detached, so I'll be able to go transfer into the back. Um, one thing I pulled this out for is I want to see if the uh, the cot I sleep in will fit comfortably back here. Fold it out. So that's what I'm going to determine right now. Um, in the morning, all of this thing's going to the mechanic because something's wrong with the well. It's got a lot wrong with it, but. The main thing is uh, something wrong with the wheel bearings. Like, I'm kind of amazed I got it here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's take this stuff out and just see real quick if it uh, if it works the way I want it to. Okay, that's a little roomier than I thought it would be, actually. That's way better than I thought it would be. So that was separating the front. So I'm real glad that came off. But what we want to be able to do is we want to be sitting in here chilling out, pull into a rest area or something. It's time to rest. What we'll do is we'll just get up. We'll go. You can, yeah, you can. Okay, yeah. Doors work there. I don't know if you can even see in here. Oh, he's probably lost. What is that? Okay, that's the door. It is warm in here already. Okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so <coughs> it's roomy in here than I thought it would be. I can hang little lights from there. We got a place to store all my stuff. I'm hopefully not gonna have too much, but I'll have something set up where I got like a fan on me because you know. Yeah. Alright. So far so good. Man's gonna do what I want it to do. That's a good thing. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean it up in there a little bit and then put the pallets back and then uh, find a place for that bulkhead to live for a bit. And then, um, yeah, hopefully when we get this in the mechanic, he'll be able to fix it. We're not too much money. Uh, we're probably gonna drop some cash just getting it, you know, workable again. But that's okay, cause like I said, compared to what I'm paying to run one. Uh, yeah, we're getting a deal here, so. All right, outdoorsness, van update. So the whole thing's fixed up now. Uh, it drives fine, it's been inspected. Um, I haven't detected any problems with it. I've driven it maybe um, 100 miles or so since all that. Just to see if anything else is gonna rattle loose. Uh, today's project is gonna go get something I can use as a screen here like a curtain or something like that i was gonna get maybe some magnet hooks i could hang some lights in here i don't i don't expect i'm gonna hang out in this van that much i'm just gonna use it to sleep um and speaking of sleeping in it uh tonight i'm gonna put the cot out i'm gonna set up my sleeping system in here like i do with um the truck tent and everything just to just to see if it's anything i've overlooked or should know about or you know stuff like that all right, outdoorsness. We got back from Ocean State job lots and got hooked up with a curtain. So let's see. Get that across. And I'm pretty sure you can't see anything. Oops. All right, you 
can't see it, but we got it. We got a little bit more to do with the lighting set. Okay. Yeah, it's basically what I was looking for. I got the magnets on my flat. It's a little dim, actually. I'm gonna change that one. So far, this is working out very well. I like it. I'm very happy. Um, we'll see how it goes tonight. Hey, outdoors, uh, it's been a couple days since Saturday night, obviously. Um, the sleep went pretty well, as I recall, so everything was fine there. Um, I actually was able to take a little bit of a cat nap one day in the back with it between uh, shifts, I guess you could say. Anyway, what we're going to do today is I'm going to hang the second curtain. I'm going to use these magnets to kind of pin it to the sides a little bit better. I guess that's one thing I did notice um, that I wanted to fix. And then we're going to go to Walmart and we're going to get maybe a little rug to put there. Just because I noticed uh, it was a little hard on the knees crawling in and out of here. So that's the project for this afternoon. So let's see how it goes. So that worked pretty good. Um, there's a fourth magnet. I just can't find it at the moment, but uh, <laughs> I don't know if we need it. I was thinking I'd need like some crimps or something, but I don't know. I might do something to hem these up um, just to keep it, keep it tight in here. I did learn, I can't remember what I mentioned in the last clips, but I did learn space in here is gonna be a premium because you know, this is where I lay out and then all everything else I'm bringing has to just fit in that space and whatever I can shuffle under there and I guess maybe the front seat so it should be okay uh, the other thing I'm gonna look for I don't know if I'll get it today but uh, I'm gonna get a more robust mattress this is okay but um, I'm thinking you know I've only ever really used this like a night at a time so yeah, it, it might <laughs> might want something a little more substantial to sleep on. So, I mean, I think I could take the air. Oh, no, I'm not taking the air mattress. I'm never going back. So, I'm thinking foam, something like that. So, anyway, let's go to the Walmart or wherever. See if we can at least get the rug portion of this fixed. I'm going to take some measurements and just get that good idea of that. And, all right, look what they did to me outdoors. This. I wasn't planning on getting a table, but I did. I figure <clears throat> we'll be cooking a lot of our meals ourselves sort of on the road and rest in places like that. So that might come in handy just to have a flat surface. I did want a second one of these just because where I might be going, it might be pretty dry. Rugs. This is a little smaller than what I wanted, I think, but it doesn't need to cover the entire bottom. Um, different new batteries, different things. Stocked up on those. Now, I thought I was going to be out of luck with the, uh, the sleeping pad, but then we got ourselves one of those. They're more expensive than I thought they were would be. So I can use that and double it up with the other one and. That should make for some uh, good enough sleeping, I guess. All right, let's go back home. Put all that crap in the van and then uh, see where we want to go tonight from there. That's a little easier on my knees. I guess it doesn't need to cover that side. Cause that's where the cot will be, but I don't even think it needs. Yeah, you know what? This is fine. I don't need it. I don't need to carpet the van. So let's put the cot back in. I 
I'm not sure which side up it goes. We go nub sides up, nub sides down. Okay, feels a little, a little better. If, uh, if it gets to be like a dire situation, I guess I could just splurge and buy one of them like futon mattresses or something like that. Oh, I found the uh, the other magnet. I gotta uh, take these upstairs and see about gorilla gluing them back together so all right yeah so that's that's the state of the van I think uh, maybe later I will talk in detail about what the, kind of the uh, the overall plan is so we're gonna start we leave from here southern Vermont and our first stop is Delaware my brother's house this is only like a probably a six hour drive I've sort of paste this thing into like eight hour legs roughly just that's about all the driving i can stand and we kind of need to make some progress so after his place we are headed towards uh Ch -ch johnson city tennessee and i only picked that place because i heard it in a song and it's like i said about eight hours from uh bro's house and then i believe it was from johnson city to I want to say Meridian. I can't remember. I could never remember where Meridian is. It's either in Mississippi or one of these places. But after that, we're headed towards the Dallas area. And then after Dallas, we're on our way into uh, Roswell. And Roswell is kind of where I'm going to start to slow down. And I'm going to check out all the, the sights and nature in the air, the desert here. I had Flagstaff as a place I wanted to hit, just the area around there. Uh, anyway, and then, um, so once, we, once we've had enough of the desert, we're going to sort of go possibly through Las Vegas, and then, then we're going to check out Los Angeles. And uh, from there, depending on which time this all took, kind of want to go up into the, uh, you know, the Washington region and check out all the the outdoors sites up here in the parks and things so we're gonna roughly kind of head back through that way we could also cut straight across but that hasn't been decided yet so. hey outdoorsness it's the outdoorsness <laughs> um channel update uh my big trip the one i the thing i have not shut up about for the past year or whatever that is scheduled to go this Saturday. It is Tuesday now, so days away from the big one. Um, I've got my route roughly all figured out. Um, I spent the past weekend sleeping on this set up here just to see if uh, two nights in a row would ruin my back or not. Um, I've only ever done like one, one night on the cot, so I wanted to make sure that, you know, I wasn't setting myself up for a, uh, long-term back pain or anything like that um, I've got all the gear packed in totes that should fit in this space pretty well got two big water jugs for when we're out in the desert again that should all fit here uh, so yeah I think we've, we've got it all pretty much set up the van um, yeah all the work's been done I think the only thing I might do to it now is run it through a car wash just to get some of the uh, the branding off a little bit more But beyond that yeah, everything's good. I checked I double-checked with the uh, the owner's insurance Well, she double-checked, but <laughs> we're good there. I got triple-a insurance just to be super safe um, Yeah, between that and that little Garmin beacon and all the other crap um, I'm as connected as I could be headed out on my own so looking forward to it uh, not much else to report really uh, I've got videos scheduled to upload for a couple weeks into September but
So I've got videos scheduled to come up, you know, maybe halfway into September. Uh, I forget what they're about now. I think it's some fishing and there's a camping video in there. But yeah, I kind of ran out of uh, <laughs> videos to make, so I don't know if I'll be able to make anything while I'm on the road. I, I might. Um, mine aren't terribly high production value. It's basically just stitching some clips together, so, you know, I get, you know, an hour and a half in a hotel room, I can probably make something go, but... All right, outdoorsness, I've been thinking about it and talking about it for more than a year and a half, so I think all that's left now to do is just, uh, do it, so here we go.